Uh, welcome once again. It's Stephen DiPietro from ServingReason.com and remember it's all about service with purpose. Today I want to talk about always being yourself. Have you heard that saying, always got to be yourself? Well, I think that's a bunch of BS. And the reason I say that is that people never, never present themselves as themselves. Or if they do, it's one of their multiple personalities. I use the example of a, a friend of ours. He's a fo an ex-football player and he played for Australia. Um, so therefore he was at the very, very peak of his game. Now you can imagine when he gets together with his friends, um, they get it together in these closed groups and they talk in a very, let's say, football away. They don't use many vowels, they grunt a bit, and they kind of just sit there and go, uh, uh, uh. Now, when in that same situation, this is a real life situation, my son walks up and he's playing with this footballer's son. And they play, they play football together, they also play at school together. Well, my son approaches and the first thing this footballer does is gets down on his knees and talks to him in a very slow, deliberate voice. And he says, hi Dylan, how are you? Are you well today? It's completely different to how he was talking to his football friends. And then my father turned up. Now my father says, g'day, how are you going? And he talks to my father in a very precise and very different way. It's all minding his P's and Q's. Now, this is the same person. He's flipping like that, in and out and in and out, without even a thought. So, was he being himself? Absolutely, of course he was. Was he being disingenuous? No, he was just being himself. The same applies to customer service situations. You can't say, I'm always going to be myself, or the customer is always going to present themselves the same way, because they don't. The customers present differently. Here's an example. Now, well, not an example, but I'll give you four types of personalities that I think exist for customers, customers in a customer service or a sales environment. The first is the pounder, which I'll talk about more later. The pounder is all rah, 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 where it's all about the numbers, the facts and the figures and the speed, more so than the relationship in the transaction. Then you've got the nurturer. And the nurturer is that nice person who likes to talk a lot. It's all about the relationship rather than the transaction. Then you've got another person which is very process driven. You've got the follower. The follower likes to follow the process. When they go through, they want to know all the details of the transaction, how it's going to eventuate. So they're a little bit different again. And to them, it's all about the process before the transaction or to lead into the transaction. And the last is the independent. The independent is the person who goes with whatever feels good. They're not really into process. Um, they might like you, they might not. But it's more about what, what does my gut tell me right now? So they're very, four very different personalities. I have a tendency towards one, probably more the pounder, but then I'm also more of an independent. And it changes between situations, whether I'm at home, at work, good mood, bad mood, whatever. And the customers are the same. Customers present differently. So the trick is you've got to not only match their needs and wants, but match their personality as well. Be yourself, not so sure. Be like the customer, absolutely. More about that later. Again, my name is Stephen DiPietro from ServingReason.com and you can catch my blog at www.dipietro.com.au. And remember, it's all about service with purpose. Thank you.